Who is the king of the great apes family? The mighty gorilla or the orangutan? If both primates were to fight, who would come out victorious in this epic battle? Since both apes live in different regions, it will most likely never come to a fight. But we're going to get to the answer of the question anyway. So stay tuned until the end of this video. Gorillas and orangutans are both primates, but they inhabit different types of environments, and their natural habitats differ significantly. Gorillas are native to the forests of Central Africa. There are two species of gorillas, the Western Gorilla and the Eastern Gorilla. Their habitats consist of dense vegetation, including tropical rainforests, bamboo forests and swamps. Gorillas can be found at a range of elevations, from sea level in lowland areas to higher altitudes in the mountainous regions. Western gorillas inhabit the lowland forests and swamps of Central Africa, including countries such as Cameroon, Gabon, Congo and Equatorial Guinea. Eastern gorillas are found in a range of habitats including both lowland tropical rainforests and the higher altitude cloud forests in the mountains. Orangutans are native to the islands of Borneo and Sumatra in Southeast Asia. Their habitats are characterized by lush tropical rainforests with a variety of trees, including dipterocarp trees, which are prevalent in Southeast Asian rainforests. There are also two species of orangutans, the Bornean orangutan and the Sumatran orangutan. Bornean orangutans are found in the rainforests of Borneo, including both lowland and mountainous regions. Sumatran orangutans inhabit the rainforests of Sumatra, including both lowland and montane forests. Gorillas live in cohesive family groups known as troops or bands. These groups typically consist of several females, their offspring, and one dominant male known as the silverback. The silverback is usually the oldest and strongest male in the group. He is responsible for leading and protecting the group, making important decisions, and resolving conflicts within the troop. Female gorillas in the troop are related, often being the mates or daughters of the silverback. The silverback plays a crucial role in protecting the females and their offspring from potential threats. Within the family group, there is a hierarchical structure with the silverback at the top. Other males in the group, known as blackbacks, are usually younger and subordinate to the silverback. Gorillas are social animals and the bonds within the family group are strong. Social interactions involve grooming, playing and various vocalizations that help maintain group cohesion. Gorillas communicate through body language, facial expressions and vocalizations. The silverback's gestures often dictate the group's movements and activities. Orangutans are largely solitary and adult males are particularly known for their solitary habits. Adult males are generally territorial and avoid each other, except during brief encounters with females. Females tend to live with their offspring, forming small family units. Unlike gorillas, there is no consistent male presence within these family units. While orangutans are not as social as gorillas, they do interact during mating. Adult males may encounter receptive females, and mating is usually a brief and solitary event. The strongest social bond in orangutans is between a mother and her offspring. Female orangutans provide care and protection to their young until they reach a level of independence. The differences in social structure can be attributed in part to the ecological conditions of their respective habitats. Gorillas, living in more open and accessible environments, benefit from group living for protection against predators. Orangutans, on the other hand, inhabit dense and resource-rich rainforests where food is more widely dispersed. The solitary lifestyle of adult males may be a strategy to avoid competition for limited resources. Let us now talk about both apes, size and weight. Gorillas are generally shorter than humans when standing upright. Adult male gorillas, the so-called silverbacks, can reach a height of about 1.7 meters when standing on their hind legs, but they usually move on all fours. Orangutans are known for their long arms and short legs. Standing upright, they can reach a height of around 1.2 to 1.5 meters. However, orangutans spend much of their time in trees and move by swinging from branch to branch. Gorillas are robust and muscular, with adult males weighing between 136 to 181 kilograms on average. 
Female gorillas are smaller, usually weighing between 68 to 113 kilograms. Orangutans are somewhat lighter compared to gorillas. Adult males typically weigh between 59 to 100 kilograms. Adult females are smaller, weighing between 30 to 50 kilograms. Gorillas have a stocky and muscular build. Adult males in particular have a distinctive broad chest and shoulders. Their upper body strength is impressive with well-developed chest and arm muscles. The dominant silverback in particular exhibits significant muscle mass, which is not only crucial for his own physical capabilities, but also for maintaining control and leadership within the group. Their hands and feet are adapted for both knuckle walking and grasping. Despite their large size, gorillas are also capable climbers. They use their strong arms and hands to climb trees, especially when foraging for food or seeking refuge. Orangutans have a more slender build with long, powerful arms that are well suited for swinging through trees and climbing. Their long arms enable them to cover great distances in the trees. They have a hunched posture due to their long arms and short legs. Adult males have prominent cheek pads known as flanges, which develop as they reach maturity. While not as agile on the ground as gorillas, orangutans exhibit slow and deliberate movements in the trees, showcasing their strength and balance. Gorillas are primarily herbivores, meaning their diet consists mainly of plant-based foods. Their diet is rich in leaves, stems, shoots, and fruits. The majority of their calories come from plant materials. Gorillas are known to be folivores, with a significant portion of their diet coming from leaves. They consume a variety of plant parts, including young leaves and shoots. The consumption of leaves and stems provides gorillas with a high-fiber diet, which is characteristic of herbivorous animals. Orangutans are considered primarily frugivores, meaning their diet consists mainly of fruits. Fruits provide a significant portion of their calories, and they consume a wide variety of fruits found in their rainforest habitats. While fruits dominate their diet, orangutans also consume leaves, bark, and insects. Their diet is more varied than that of gorillas, and they may eat a broader range of plant and animal materials. Now we come to the all-important question, gorilla or orangutan. If we assume that it's a fight between an adult male gorilla and an adult male orangutan, I have to hand the crown to the gorilla. Orangutans usually don't fight, and they lack the large fangs of the gorilla. Their bodies are poorly proportioned for ground movements. They are solitary animals which primarily use their powerful and long arms for locomotion. The body of a gorilla, on the other hand, is better proportioned for ground movements, and they are much more muscular and robust than orangutans. An adult male gorilla will also have a size advantage over an orangutan. So, the winner is the gorilla. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos where I analyze a battle between two animals, then check out my other videos in this playlist. And if you don't want to miss any new videos, then subscribe to this channel. Until next time.